Hey everyone, welcome to my fantastic kitchen in Santa Monica. My name is Rosita Rubalcava and welcome to my show called The Story Knife with Tia Rosita. Today I want to show you a childhood favorite which is called fry bread. Not just any fry bread, but Yupik fry bread. I grew up in Anchorage, Alaska and my mom was full Yupik. As a child, my mom would make a fry bread and she would have it prepared for us and it was something that we ate every day casually just like after school it would be you know placed on the kitchen table or it would be on top of the stove and it would be something that we could just go to and put peanut butter or jelly or just plain butter today i'm going to do something very special where i'm going to combine my yupik culture and my mexican culture and i'm going to do a churro Yupik fry bread. So what I've done is I've had some dough that I previously bought. You can buy the dough frozen. You don't necessarily have to go in like mama did and get the flour and knead it and do all that and sweat over your dough. Thankfully, you can actually go into your local grocery store and this will be prepared. You just set it in a bowl like this and let it rise on its own and you have voila, the perfect dough. So we're gonna take this dough and come over here and we're gonna form it into basically like a donut, but not just any donut. It's gonna be formed like a Yupik style donut and it's really cute. What we do is we just spread it apart like this to where it almost turns into like a disc. And then my mom would puncture three tiny holes in the center. It's like a Yupik mask, cute. And what I've got prepared here is just some hot oil. Now make sure your oil is hot, but not too hot because your dough won't fluff up and rise. So we're just going to place it right in the center. My mom loved small little gadgets. She was so a big fan of anything that was miniature. So in memory of my mom, I'm using this little miniature pan. So we have to wait until it gets a little brown on the end and on the sides and behind underneath. Oop, but you don't want to burn yourself. It takes about a minute and it's going to rise on its own. Okay, so that's been about a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently flip it over and see how it's nice. That really beautiful color, that's exactly what you're looking for. I could remember when I was a little girl uh, my mom would sit in the kitchen and she would make the most fantastic dough and she would start from scratch and it would be so delicious. I could remember her just kneading it and placing it in a bowl and putting a, a towel over it and really taking her time and she would um, form them this big. What was special about her Yupik fry bread was that, you know, sometimes they form them, you see some fry breads and they're really, really large, but hers were very, almost like a little miniature taco is how I put it. So that is kind of what you're looking for. You place it, of course, on a plate with paper towel. And what I like to do is immediately put salt, because salt is everything. And in Mexico, churros are done in a brown sugar and cinnamon and regular sugar. And that's what I have prepared here. And so I'm gonna make it extra special and make it like a churro. And there you have it, your Mexican Yupik churro fry bread. There is something called the Navajo taco that's very similar to what I'm making here. And what they do is they make a very large um, fry bread and they put everything like you would do a gringo taco, like the meat and the lettuce and the tomato. Thank God for pre-made dough. Oh my gosh, I am not the kind of person that can go like my mom and like take some flour and oil. And every time I try to go into the kitchen and make dough by hand with yeast, it just doesn't, it just doesn't rise. It's really, really difficult. So don't feel bad that you have to go to the store and buy the dough pre-made. It's okay. I mean, okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over gently without burning yourself. Ooh. And if you do bring yourself, it's okay. Don't worry. I think what people worry about in the kitchen is messing up. You know, they're, mess they're worried that they're gonna mess up what they're making and it intimidates them to go in and try a recipe. 
And I don't want you to feel that way. Like this show is designed to give you more confidence, to narrow it down into something more simple and easy to make, and to just let go, let go of the, the fear behind cooking. Like let go, let go, like how I'm letting go right now. You see how I'm letting go and I'm not being afraid of being filmed, even though I'm worried my hair is messed up and I'm looking all crazy. But I just had to let go of that and just do what my sobrino tells me to do, which is just be natural, okay? I mean, all right, now look. So this is back to, everything is about me, I'm sorry, but we're gonna go back to the food and look that it's not quite ready, which is fine. You know, this is when a good glass of wine comes in handy. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. First, start with your salt. And then you dust it really beautifully. You know, I like to use my hands. I don't know why I'm trying to be all cute and use a spoon, like who really, really does that? My mom would be like, girl, just take that with your hands and put that on top. You ain't trying to be that cute. There. So now we're gonna continue making these, but I'm going to uh, turn these actually into a taco and we're not gonna add sugar. See, that's really pretty. Mmm, I'm just kidding. So <laughs> basically what we have here are the traditional fry bread that we're gonna opt to use later, but this, is a special one because it has cinnamon and sugar and brown sugar, very similar to a what? Churro. <laughs> All right, enjoy. <laughs> it's so emotional. It's so good. It's so good. Mmm. Oh my God, you guys gotta have one now. That's the first time I ever did that. Y'all made it sound like, <laughs> I made it sound like I did this all my life. <laughs> this is the first time I did this. I have never done this before. I thought about it last night, I was like, you know what sounds good with a fry bread? I chew it on fry bread, and I am so glad I did it. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, where's my coffee? <laughs> 